A party in Washington Grizzly Stadium ended in disappointment Saturday night. Montana's fantastic first half didn't hold up in a 48-41 Big Sky opening loss to Eastern Washington. And now the Grizzlies are left answering questions. The difference between the first half and second half was like night and day. Montana held Eastern Washington's high-powered offense to only six points in the first two quarters and had four sacks. But Gage Gubrud and the Eagles caught fire after the break, scoring 42 points. The star QB totaled 549 yards passing, but Montana's head coach felt it was his offense that let down the defense and not the other way around. We come out and don't do anything great in, in the first couple drives, and our, our defense just defended a lot of plays. You know, 96 plays is, is, is a lot. We just didn't get it done in the second half. You know, that's what it came down to. That's how I feel about it. I mean, I don't know. I don't, there's not much more else I can say about that. Gresh Jensen couldn't keep up with Gubrun, but the Grizz freshman quarterback making his first start did throw for 358 yards, accounted for three touchdowns, and only turned the ball over once. And as, as you continue to get used to it and you know, keep getting better, I just feel like it was just the execution stuff um, for us and me personally. I just got to keep getting better. Chris did a nice job, you know, and I know that this is going to drive him crazy, you know, and, and uh, he, he's going to keep preparing and, and uh, we'll, we'll keep helping him. The loss stings so much because Montana looked so good early. But in reality, it was always going to take a great performance for the Grizz to beat the 11th ranked and defending Big Sky champion Eagles. Stitt said his very close team did not point fingers after the heartbreaking loss and stressed the positives Montana can take moving forward. Very proud of our team. Uh, I told him that. You know, there's a lot of really good football that went on today, and uh, our ga guys gave us everything that they had. This is a team that, that uh, is going to get better every single week, and uh, we face a very good team early in, in the league schedule, and uh, it's going to help us. Montana now hits the road for two straight weeks at Portland State and Idaho State.